divorce lipstick. You know what I mean? Like that's that color. Buttoned? I mean, I just been feeling like buttony for this one. You know. I did know that I was bound to live my life in the spectrum of visual and performance arts. Like all of my interests have forever been in that spectrum and I've like all the things I've done have been dancing along that spectrum of visual and performance arts. And so it made sense that actually I ended up doing something that like brought it all together. Balloons has just been exceptional because, well, for every reason. Um, balloons was just the thing that took all my interests in that spectrum of visual and performance arts and like tied it in this nice, lovely, monetizable balloon bow. And so that's what I went with. So if you're considering making a balloon dress, first off, why? Second off, okay, great. You're gonna want a dress form. I've tried it without, it's so annoying. And then you build around the dress form, easy peasy. It's like a basket weave, but squeakier. So sometimes I find myself in the midst of grandeur I could never imagine, walking on stilts as a troll, wearing a balloon dragon in the Mall of Qatar, and sometimes I'm like in Scranton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Drinking pumpkin beer and like emceeing a festival. Um, I wanted, I just do everything when I'm not making balloons. I wanna just taste everything and do it all. I like to skydive, I like to go motorcycling. Oh, I just seek all the fun. I just want all the like high sensory activity always in my life. I love having family dinners here. So I just grab all my friends and we hang out when I'm, when I'm in town to get like, you know, relational espresso shot. And then um, I just love to dance and I love to like, uh, people. I just I just want to be around people always. Hey Molly, quit saying like. The more my balloon schema grows, the more ideas I have every day. And so I don't really feel like I've gotten to, gotten very close to the perimeter of my balloon ideas. Life is finite. <laughs> like fuck.